Hi folks, it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. This is Jason. Uh, you can get me on jasonburnspreacher.com, you can get me on Facebook, you can get me on Twitter. Love to everybody out there and God bless you. And uh, I'm making this video today. Hope everybody's okay and love to everybody out there. But I'm making this video to, to really ask for support, to let you know some big changes that are, are taking place but I can't go forward without your help without your support um, I just want to just share a few things first about the work that I've been doing over the last couple of years um, I felt called last year to help with Hyde Park um, I felt that Hyde Park, the Muslims were bullying the, 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 the Christians and they needed encouragement so I rallied a few troops and we went down to Hyde Park and uh, Bob the Builder uh, has led the charge uh, in the Christian resurgence down there, uh, DCCI have led the charge and I think in a small part um, Royal Blood Ministries and the work that we've done me, Mike, Kieran and others, we've helped to, to lead that charge uh, and to help for a Christian resurgence in, in Hyde Park. It's not been an easy work, I've enjoyed studying, uh, but the debates that we've had, I think that we've helped to contribute to this pushing back Islam and showing that Christianity can be defended. So if you've watched my debates and you've enjoyed those debates, then I would encourage you, encourage you that if you think the work that I've been doing at Hyde Park has been important and valuable, to pray about uh, supporting me in some way. And I'm going to share how you can support me uh, later, uh, near the end of the video. The secondly, um, I've been on a few leadership team, uh, leadership teams in churches over the last couple of years and um, also led um, a reform fellowship and over those years I've been able to study the Word of God on average a sermon would take about 10 hours and um, I preach sermons online and put those sermons online and I'm appealing to you who've watched my sermons, if you've been blessed by the sermons and blessed by the Bible studies, and you feel that's important to see that continue, then I need your support. Uh, I'm doing this fellowship, I'll be studying the scriptures, and I, I feel that there's a great need at the moment for sound teaching. Uh, there's a lot of people going off the rails at the moment, and I do think that it's important to have sound teaching. And that's why I'm doing this fellowship, because I want to do expository preaching, expand the Bible. And I can't do that without your support. Because a lot of churches today don't see the value of street preaching. And I'm a street preacher. And I love to do street preaching. And it's difficult to be a pastor of a church or be a leader in a church because most churches today don't support street preaching. So I'm go I have to start a fellowship so that when people come and get involved, they, they see that the fellowship is part of a street preaching ministry, you see. So, so it's difficult to get church support for street preaching. It's difficult to get support for expository preaching. So if you value um, the teaching that I've been doing, which I would spend on average about 10 hours at least for a sermon and the same for a Bible study. So that needs people to support, to, to say, you know what, we value his ministry of Bible teaching and preaching and a lot of churches don't see the value in solid Bible teaching but we see the value of that we're going to support that I'm going to support that so I need you to support that to see if you've been blessed by my Bible teaching blessed by the preaching then if you had a pastor your pastor would get 25 30,000 pound salary on average 
they probably wouldn't spend as many hours studying the Bible as I do, and they probably wouldn't do expository preaching. And yet they get 25, 30,000 pound salary. So I'm not saying you to give me that kind of salary or anything. I'm just saying that please value the time that's been put into these sermons. So when you're hearing a sermon, you're hearing someone who's put the time and energy in so that you can have quality Bible teaching online. So I'm asking you and pr that you would pray about supporting that, uh, whether it be by prayer or financially. And I'll, sh I'll tell you how to su support it financially uh, later. In the area of street preaching, I've been street preaching quite a bit of time in Manchester now. I'll give you an example of the effect of the street preaching. There are now at least five or six groups that go out street preaching in Manchester. There's a, a handful of pastors take their churches out, they do street preaching and they take their people out doing evangelism. By God's grace and for his glory, they've been influenced by my consistency of going out regularly doing the work in Manchester. So we praise God that more people have been inspired to go out and evangelize in Manchester. Lots of people in Manchester know me and they value what I do. And so if you've seen videos of my street preaching and you value that street preaching, particularly when I debate people on the streets, and you want that to continue and you want the effect of that to continue not only in Manchester but further afield, then the churches are not supporting that. Then They don't see the value of that. They don't support it financially. They don't think it's important. But I believe it's very important. It's having an effect in Manchester. There's a lot more people going out evangelising now because of the street preaching that I've been doing over the years. So it has as an effect. It's had a good effect on people. There have been people who have been lesbians or people who have been on drugs who've told me that God's uh, touched their lives through the preaching that I've been doing and the people who've been helping me. But the churches don't see the value in that. So I need you to, to step up and say, you know what? Street preaching is valuable. He's been used in that. The churches aren't supporting him because they don't support street preaching. But we'll support him or I'll support him. So I need you to step up and support me in that. I need to know that you're praying for me. I need to know that you value it. And, 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 and I need to know that you want to support it financially if you can. So now a few things uh, about my personal life. Um, I'm hoping by God's grace to, to get married. There's a lady uh, in Ghana um, that I need to go and visit and to get engaged to. And uh, I haven't got the resources uh, to do that. I haven't got the resources to to get engaged. It's going to take four or five hundred pounds to go and get a plane flight over there, and then a few hundred pounds to do the engagement, and then after that, I've got to go back and and get married, and then I've got visas to sort out, and all these things. Um, and then on top of that, a house, on top of that, a salary, and all the rest of it. But for the time being, at the moment, I would love to go and get engaged. That's going to cost about £500, £400 flight, and two or £300 when I get there to do the engagement. So I need your support and, and help uh, in this uh, endeavour if you would help me. Um, I haven't got the resources. I'm a, I'm a Christian worker and I'm a full-time Christian worker and you know I'm a poor person and I need your help. So I'm asking for your help. I'm asking for your support. I'm asking for your backing in these things. On top of that, um, I believe that the ministry that I do is valuable. I believe it's important what I've been doing in Hyde Park. It's a, I spend, well, before I go to Hyde Park, 
I spent hours and hours and hours studying in scholarship in preparation to go down there. Spend many, many hours to make sure that when I go down there that we can answer the questions of, of Islam. And I think it's important it's been important work to to stand up for Christianity in Hyde Park to show that Christianity can be defended. I spend hours and hours studying the scriptures so that people can have the pure word of God because I believe that many churches are not preaching the word of God as they should be today. And I've spent many, many hours on the streets from morning to night preaching. There are some days when I've gone out over the months where I've literally preached from maybe 11 o'clock in the morning right up to 8 o'clock in the evening non-stop preaching that's unheard of that takes a lot out of you and I think that's why I've got ill over the months and why I, I'm a bit drained these days because I've done too much in the past in preaching too long and I believe but I believe these things are important now um, I've made steps to get support I have a patron account somebody does support me on that patron account that's somewhere where you can support me uh, if you want to you could support me once a month and think you know what I'm going to contribute to his ministry I believe it's important what he's doing in Hyde Park I believe it's important that we get good solid Bible teaching he's doing a good job there and it's important that he continues the open air work not in Manchester but throughout the UK secondly you can buy a book a couple of books have gone online and uh, you can find out a few videos at the back uh, it's the life and thought of Sam Harris or meditations on the life and thought of Sam Harris uh, they're on Kindle at the moment but they'll be in paperback in the next few days or in the next week or so you could buy a book and that would be your way of saying you know what bless your brother keep doing the good work or you can see me when I'm in Manchester or when I go down to Hyde Park you could say here's a gift and, and, and keep doing the work brother so those are the three ways either by patron account either by buying a book and I'll try and get a, a write a book uh, once a month and, and it'll be on, on Kindle Amazon and each month you could buy a book so the book that I'm going to be working on next is The Corruption of the Quran, Looking at the Quran. You could buy that book next month. This month, there's four books online, two paperbacks and two to uh, Kindle. So that's my way of earning a living. And that's your way of saying we support, support him and, and we'll, we'll contribute to buying his books to, to keep him going. Uh, and I'll be doing a book every month, so I'll be doing uh, Corruption of the Quran, and I'll be uploading apologetics, I'll be uploading novels, and all sorts of literature that, that, you, that you'll enjoy, uh, that will build you up, or entertain you whichever way. And then, <coughs> there's uh, giving a gift by, you can either, you can either see me in Manchester, Every Saturday, I'll be on Market Street, either up at Piccadilly or down Pic Market Street. Or once a month, I'll be in Hyde Park. Or fourthly, you could email me and I could send you my international uh, account number and you can donate that way from email. So I'm only saying these things because <coughs> I believe that I've, I've, I'm contributing a lot to the to the defense of the faith to the proclamation of the faith <coughs> and there are evangelists and pastors getting finances <coughs> that are not doing even a small amount of what I've been doing over the years <coughs> and I believe I, 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 I need the church's support those Christians who, who support to do the work but I do believe that if you have been blessed by the work that I've been doing 
And the work, the workers that have been helping me, there have been people that have been helping me. If you've been blessed by me and the helpers that have been helping me over the years, if you've been blessed by the work we've been doing in Hyde Park, the debates that we've done, if you've been blessed by the Bible teaching, if you've been blessed by um, the open air work and mission, I'm asking for your prayers that you pray one minute a day for Royal Blood Ministries and secondly that you would seriously pray about supporting the work financially. It would mean so much, not only to me, but to all the helpers, all the people that have been connected to me. I think it would encourage us all to know that you're behind us and that you care about the work that we do. Um, like I said, the main issue for me at the moment is I, I need support to go forward and get engaged. I need you to back me on that, that you're behind me on that, that you'll, that you'll help me on that. Or at least pray for me. And I need your support um, in the future uh, when it comes to, to getting married to get a house and 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 I could be on the mission field in Malawi not just Ghana but in Malawi in the Sudan I could be anywhere in the world I could be in the UK still but I could be anywhere in the world in the next few six to a year's time and the only backing and support that I'm gonna have is you so I I'm asking you to start to be a supporter because if I'm stuck in the Sudan <laughs> the only people that are going to help me is you so I need your support now if I'm stuck in Malawi the only people who are going to help me is you but if I'm stuck in Birmingham the only people who are going to help me is you I'm helping myself I'm publishing books that's, I've always wanted to be a writer, so I, that's my expertise, that's what I'm going to work on and I'm sure that's going to do well uh, in the future. The, the royalties for the first couple of books that have been published at the moment will come in in 60 days time, so hopefully that will be a help. So there we are, so please pray uh, for my ministry and please uh, consider uh, supporting. I wouldn't ask if it were for the fact that number one I have put in the hours in the apologetics for Hyde Park I put many many hours many many hours of research and original research as well that have helped to push back Islam in Hyde Park. I spent many many hours in preparation in Bible studies many many hours and many people have been blessed by them and I've put in the hours in wind, rain and snow and summer on the streets of Manchester and around the, around the nation and I believe that many people have received a blessing from the debates we've done in, Man in, in Hyde Park many people have received a blessing from the preaching that I've done and many people have received a blessing from the street work that we've done. And so it, it's only fair to ask for your support. Okay. And if you can't support in any way, if you can't buy a book, you can buy a book at three, three pounds twenty or something on Kindle. Um, if you can't do that, then at least pray. At least uh, pray. Pray about this marriage. Uh, in in Ghana, uh, pray about um, where I'm to be in the next six months. I'm at a continued mission in the UK. I'm at to be in Ghana. I'm at to be in Malawi. I'm at to be in Sudan. Please pray about where God wants me in the next six months for mission. Does He want me in the, still in the UK as a missionary? Um, please pray about that. Please pray about this fellowship that's recently started. Please pray about the missionary work in Manchester. Please pray about 
the work in Hyde Park and uh, just the practical needs. Uh, please pray about the books being published, uh, that God will bless them. Um, and pray about maybe openings, maybe a church might invite me to be their pastor and will give me a, a small salary so I can uh, earn a living as well as do the things that God is wanting me to do, like the street preaching and the Bible teaching and the and the um, and the uh, apologetics. Um, but like I said, the apologetics work. The churches don't see the value in that. The street preaching churches don't see the value in that. So I have to appeal to those people who are radical Christians who see that we desperately need ministries today that's muscular Christianity, that's really going out there and challenging the nation with the gospel. We need muscular Christianity and I've been, with God's grace, given that for a number of years, but I need brothers and sisters to hold my hands up to lift me up, to stand with me, because I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. I need you to stand with me. Okay, thank you very much, and God bless you. Take care.